heard of that is everybody. Works for me. Let us kill everybody. Infected with murky discharge with so many new plagues spreading, scientists are having trouble naming them all. We've added a new random name generator to help. Hmm. Random disease name. Huh. Oh, ah, board game. This window <clears throat> is a funny size. There's a multiplayer? Oh, you make this bigger windowy thing bigger? Um, I don't know exactly. It's, it's a weird ratio. I mean, it makes ratio. the font kind of hot. That's what I said. It's a weird aspect ratio. Video. Resolution? Oh, that is so much better. There we go. <laughs> oh, purpose. No. Hmm, what kind of disease we make? Main game? Or is that what we're already in? I yeah. don't know. I guess we... Oh. We unlocked Simeon Flu. We did it, guys! We won! Currently, all we have unlocked is bacteria. Most common source of plague. Unlimited potential. Let's see here. Insert gene. We don't have any yet. Oh, we... Okay. Well, then continue. Let's see. 67% of people wash... No one no washes their hands! <laughs> Doctors don't work. Sick people are given hugs. Sick people are ignored... Doctors never go home. Locked in prison? What? That is brutal. Random medical checkups. Doctors invest in research? That's still a pretty high amount of people washing their hands, I think. PAX 12? What's PAX 12? Oh, uh, the... Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Thank you for warning me via... Steam that quickly. I don't like it when I find out like a month later because you could have just told us via Twitch. Yeah, but I don't hear it via Twitch. It makes mm. an audio cue when that happens. That's right. Steam goes boop. boop. We also randomize. Uh, what do you think is a good bacterial virus? No, it's not. No, a virus is its own thing. A bacterial disease name. <laughs> Why is it called Brain Tooth? Because Stephen Colbert had a segment during the Colbert Report one time where he was talking about a fake medicine, and one of the side effects he listed was Brain Tooth. That's a symptom. Yeah, but we're going to make the name of the disease. So you're going to have, like, teeth growing in your cranium, which sounds excessively painful. And deadly. You, you are, are a new bacteria! To win, you must evolve and spread across the world. Wiping out all humans in the ultimate plague. Select, Select a, country a country to begin. When you click on it, you can see more information. Pop the start bubble to confirm. Click hmm. on another country. Where instead. should we start? Oh, name it Shin. Maybe for another disease, actually. <laughs> uh, let's let's on, see here. Where's the seaport? Uh, Madagascar? Oh, chose yeah. China. Yeah. That's not a bad idea. It's got it a must, lot of population. It's weak and unspecialized. It must evolve using DNA to infect more people. I know on YouTube this is a pop, was a popular game, where everyone just named it stupid things like D's Nuts or Happiness. So you could say, Happiness is infecting and killing people. Mm, yeah, died of happiness. But eventually it's like, it seem to be like their game. Pop orange DNA bubbles when they appear to get bonus DNA. This is how diseases work. They randomly appear to get bonus DNA points, which you can Play. use to evolve your disease. If we were a virus, viruses don't even have DNA, right? Yes, they do. Oh, they do? I thought... Oh, no. Viruses have RNA. Yeah, bacteria have DNA. Yeah, right? and RNA. Uh, protocells most likely had I mean, RNA that eventually evolved into a virus even an organism? It is... A virus is a unique thing in that it is not alive, but it can be killed. It is not organic? It is organic. It's just not alive. What makes something alive? Organs? It has, oh, well, no. To make something alive, it has to, in some way, um, be able to sustain itself through the consumption of material. Oh, and viruses so, do not consume. 
No, they, they just, just infect and replicate, yes. A bacteria is a lie. Rich country. It's just a microorganism. Whereas a, a virus is not an organism at all, or... Do what? Is a, is a virus an organism? Business as usual. I think that's where you edit your disease. Yeah. We have nine DNA. Uh, how? So I don't understand what we do here. There's the speed of it. Yeah, I think we just need to figure out how to use that. We need to figure it out. Are there different <clears throat> tabs? Oh, that's what we need. How it's transmitted, symptoms, and abilities. I think symptoms are also how it helps it spread and kill, actually. This just helps it spread. I think abilities is like how affects how resilient it can be. Airborne is always effective. I've successfully evolved brain tooth. Oh, I misread that as enjoy your disease. <laughs> <laughs> also completely legitimate as a name. Good thing. That, well, it's not a biology lesson. Yeah, it's technically not alive. Maybe I cure things all the time. Oh. What is it? Start with only infection spread. Yeah, that's what you want to do. You want to spread it to everyone and then make it deadly. Yeah. Because that's how illnesses Because if you work. kill everybody immediately, then it's not going to... It'll be, it'll be it'll, like the... Yeah. the plague was it it was too deadly right well the biggest thing is if you make it deadly too quick then they're going to start working on a cure for it that well is... and all over the world before you can get there i just find that when you evolve all of you evolves instantly in everybody yep you're a mat you are a sentient bacteria though so whatever maybe we're like ants Maybe like a bacterial hive mind. So I said, maybe oh, you're like a ants. wizard did it. <clears throat> if I know about country, click its name at the bottom of the country menu. Yeah, I know, but I'm trying to see. Oh, and so, there are hundreds in China, increasing the chance that an infected person will infect a, near, a healthy person. Keep evolving. <coughs> Oh man, that brain tooth though. Although in all honesty, disease is terrifying. Yeah, that's why we're doing the Halloween stream. Waterborne is also good. Oh, what was I thinking? Oh yeah. Zoom, 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 I like how we have a disease with no symptoms. <clears throat> it does nothing, but it is a disease. Although that said... I mean, it's not a disease unless it has symptoms, right? It's just a microorganism then? No, it's just uh, coughing. That improves circulation. Yes. That's why things they cause us, illness causes us to cough, right? To aid in spread? Yeah. Rashes makes it slightly more infective. Cysts... That doesn't sound very effective. Slight chance of bursting, which can spread the disease. Anemia. Red blood. That sounds like it makes it more deadly. Hypoxia. Inability to sleep. Oh, the zombie makes people less productive. That's helpful. It makes it hard for them to research a cure, right? Yeah. Strange really symptoms sleep. for. Ooh, brain tooth causes coughing, huh? <clears throat> <coughs> <coughs> Coughed in my eye. That sucks. I'm gonna spread brain tooth to you. No. <laughs> Why are you calling him Skooma guy? That, does he just because he Skuma. says that doesn't mean anything. Don't shut up about it. Yeah, bacterial resistance. It makes you resistant. <clears throat> it creates a shell that gives you resistance to all environments. Or you could get <clears throat> heat or cold resistance over there. Mm hmm. But, and is that like drug resistance? Yeah. Drug uh, bacteria needs to be resistant to antibiotics, or antibiotics will anti it. Paint China red. Man Mankini not funny says Kazakh professor. Thousands. 
We're out, Mankini. It's not funny, says Kazak. Who said um, that? It says Kazak. Oh, just for him. Uh, DNA. Rusty Rake declared a deadly weapon. Oh. <laughs> well, it could be a deadly weapon. Very much could. We infected 54,000. 65. Oh, whoa. 75. 100,000. Wow, it's just blazing away all of a sudden. It is not very visible because China's huge. <clears throat> How does it spread? Oh, because none of them are near airports. Pakistan has oh, become infected. It's taking an important step in becoming a plague. New countries infected pop the red bubble to get. All right, but when we start getting lethal, we're going to start causing brain damage. Red infect bubbles appear when you infect your company. Pop them to get more DNA. Oh. Just click the bubbles. <clears throat> I thought it'd make it more it would infect more. Where's Pakistan in fact? I don't Pakistan. See. Where it is, it doesn't seem to need much environmental resistance. Well, you probably wanna actually I don't know which one you want to go to first. Maybe cold to get to Russia? Possible. What was Bubble? What are you doing? You're drunk. This is oh, crazy. you infected over a million. Yeah, this is. Oh, you've infected twenty-two people. <laughs> it's just called Central Asia. <laughs> this is Pakistan. I was gonna say it borders. No, India. no, you two, you're wrong. It's infected more people than tuberculosis. It's very infectious. Really? Huh. Oh, whoa, look at China now! Oh my god! It's affecting more countries. Control where it goes! Oh my god! Oh, those red lines mean you infected airports? Yeah, I, I've infected along port lines. Now, Braintooth is beginning to spread around the world. Use the world data to see what's not infected. Yet! You yelled that really loud. Sorry. They're not even curing you yet. What's this? It makes you harder to analyze. Which makes you harder to research. Well, I might as well start with that while it's really early. Whoa, China! China's having a bad time. Is there more people in HIV? It is crazy infectious! 91 million people. It's infected all of China. Well, it has infected so much China. Not all of it. Yeah, I was gonna say it hasn't even infected. It's infected about a. Oh, oh, China. there, there it goes. Hello, Japan. Real Olympics. Mystery surrounds decision to postpone the Rio Olympics. I yeah, just promise it will happen soon, but no reason has been given for the change. Oh, that's topical, isn't it? Yeah. Is it still topical? It does not reproduce lab conditions. Wow, that sounds hard to engineer, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Like pangolins. What? <laughs> Pangolins are do not thrive at all in captivity. Oh. And China is going down. China is like you painted China red. New minor disease spreading. They just now discovered it and named it Brain Tooth. <laughs> it is fairly harmless. It just makes you cough and what else does it do? Uh, it's gonna have sneezing eventually. What's in it? It's gonna have sneeze eventually. Oh, weird. Because airborne is super effective. S super effective. I had a feeling you were gonna say. Oh, oh, oh it's suddenly nausea. I oh. guess that's random mutation for you, huh? That is exactly random mutation. That's probably not a symptom we really want, because it'll make people more upset about it. I don't need to give it high resistance yet. I just want to make it so that it's not researchable. Well, what's going on? 1.4 billion mans! Makes it harder to cure still. Does nausea actually help? It's the first instructor who's been researching a cure. Oh. 
is there, there isn't have much funding though, but they finally started to work on it. They're getting sick of everybody having brain tooth. <laughs> We're getting sick of everybody being sick. Uh, what's the ch population of China? Uh, like just under a billion, maybe. So we infected like all of China, pretty much. Uh, it's likely. Infecting. Uh oh, Central Asia has just been dominated. And Russia's just like, lol, what's going on? Oh, no, no, they, Russia's got a bit of it. That's Russia, right? Russia's got hives. You don't know what Russia is? I mean, Russia's huge. Russia is the largest country. I thought that was China. No, China has the largest population, right? I'm disappointed in you. <laughs> I know what Russia is. You said which one's Russia? I'm saying, is that that's I was saying, is that Russia? This yeah. whole giant thing <clears throat> is Russia. And then Too the big. next largest country is right over here. Canada? Yep. I'm gonna call it Canada. And then I think is Brazil, then China, really? then the United States. China has the highest population. Okay. Or it did. Actually, so it might I'm be Poland? Brazil, United States, China. I don't know. It's put somewhere here. Poland is a really big section right here somewhere. Let's see. It's the probably. Windmills. I would imagine this is Poland. You have not infected Egypt. What are you doing? Oh, this is the Baltic states combined. And that's Ukraine. <clears throat> oh, there's Poland. There's Iceland, right? I'm going to say, I knew it was right up here. It's really close to what is still Russia. I like how the threads are like looking to, like they're shipping some country of their own. Do what? <clears throat> I like how the Reddit mass looks like it's its own like country. It is its own country. You call it Super China. Uh, no, it's the country of Brain Tooth. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, 101012432. Your time is up and your parole's begun. What? Oh, hello, number man. Valkyrie <laughs> rescues a space station from junk. Sniffing debris caused. North Korea does? What? They have rockets? No, the fact that they would do anything that would help anyone else. Polit politics. The world is 1% done. Curing you. <laughs> Screw cure. Everybody's going to be nauseous. Forever! At least as long as they're in Asia. Or Mexico. They're gonna cough? Because, I mean, yeah, it's vomit. in other countries, but it's not spreading, really. What are you talking about? It's taking over a lot of Asia now. Yeah, but, I mean, like, there's, like, Japan and Mexico and Russia. It's taken like, over Central Asia, I mean, Afghanistan, Kazakhstan. It has spots, but it's, it's, like, spreading, really. Pulk oh, no! India's starting to get infected. This is Pakistan. Maybe you they don't wash their hands. I don't know. <laughs> I think you come to the wrong channel, number man. <laughs> that... Yes, actually, yes. You say hi. That's how you start. That's how you start. I wouldn't even know that much, but I definitely don't know where, don't know where to go from there. Uh, maybe it's, uh, you start calling their relatives pineapples. I don't know. No, don't do that. You get pu they punch you if you do that. If you what? Call their relatives pineapples. They wonder what the heck you're talking I about. I learned that back away. in junior high. Don't do that. Reduces then the more common cold is the ultimate infectious disease. It only took three years. Three, three what? Three, either three or two years. I don't remember when this game was created. I guess it might be a little longer than that. Four years, maybe. Um, oh, and you started this round? Let's see here. Bacteria resistant. <clears throat> resilience. Thanks, is there any ever any reason not to just go full blown on the resistances right off the bat? Uh, it depends on what you're doing. Oh, fever, that starts affecting the brain. Yeah, it can be fatal. People are going to start dying occasionally now. Two billion. Oh, 171 people just died. <laughs> First has been confirmed. 171 dead. 
bad luck or oh, oh, holy cow what oh my god <laughs> there was so much blood the fever's just was dominating everybody i talk like the an animal what Your breakdown <clears throat> would you evolve more fever necrosis is good no Trans become the first to limit the spread by limiting by ooh quarantines. Well, they shut down airports. China, you're that you're too late for that. You blew it. A million people dead. Yep, <laughs> exactly. A million people just died. We infected like a third of the world. No, we've infected roughly half the world. Two million. Alright, so... What do you mean I already lost, Dark? I haven't even... What did I lose, even? Seizures, that's fitting. <clears throat> I'm amazed that we that quickly killed that many people with nothing but fevers. I gave him insanity already? Yep. Uh, I think we need to improve its ability to spread, because... Oh, dysentery! Oh no. I think maybe. Oh, why is it not? It's not spreading very well. Oh, oh, Russia! What do you mean it's not spreading very well? Look at the U.S. and Canada. Yeah, because that's a completely different side of the Pacific Ocean. And all of Africa. Is that Madagascar? Well, that's because there's not nearly as much What's mass that, Madagascar? transit. Madagascar. People are dying in the UK faster than people are new people are being infected. That's bad, right? That is a problem. Yes. But, we'll start doing this. Yes, girls are in fact animals. 20 DNA points there. What's extreme bio aerosol? As we say, developed the rash symptom. I feel that is not very relevant at this point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, people are gonna get itchy now! Oh no! Oh, so Russia! Oh, Russia's... Having a bad time. They're just having the worst time. Ah. Uh, just. I think we're gonna kill a few people. Yeah, humans are animals. Oh! Uh, hello, Asia! Is in place on the Who Watch list! <laughs> They're the World that. Health Organization. I know. Just now? After it yeah, just decimated China? Yeah, now that half the world is infected. <clears throat> Uh-oh, Mexico got it, which is causing it to take over over there. Oh. There are two ways to fight development. Evolve or evolve. Canada's just like, screw you. I, I, we're not even. Yeah, Canada and Africa seem very resilient. Again, it's because <laughs> oh, Mexico is leading the world. Like, really? <laughs> Mexico seems to be having a bad time. Uh, pop blue bubbles to destroy their research somehow. Magic. Uh, has killed more people than the Black Death. It says kill it 175 million, which it hasn't. Uh, click the blue bubbles. I just told you. Oh, there's one. Mexico did it. Madagascar. <laughs> Madagascar? Oh my god, look how red that is! Yep. Russia's redder than China. I think humanity is having a bad time right now. Unless they're Canadian. Okay, but here's the thing to think about. Africa and China, or Africa and um, Canada, the entire continent of Africa and the country of Canada. Which could um, be its own continent, really. <laughs> they both have very limited mass travel from one area to another, so it's going to be harder to infect them. Uh, let's sit back while damage your efforts. All right, because they don't they don't understand it. Oh, Greenland. Yeah, Greenland for is another example. And it's cold. 
No, is Norway survive oh, Sweden surviving? Uh, let's see here. One hundred million. <laughs> You're a bit late on that. The world, even if you cure, the world will never recover. Yeah, fully. it's gonna cause severe genetic bottlenecking at this point. Because all survivors will be from Canada and maybe parts of Africa. Africa is looking more. <clears throat> oh, Canada! Look at the infection rate. Look at Canada! Look at the infection rate. Yep. Remember, there's seven billion people. Pretty much everyone in the world has brain tooth. Yep. Just the notion on everyone in the world having a disease just... My brain can't quite comprehend it. Symptoms. This is, this is now the worst disaster to ever befall humanity. Uh, when... All but less than a billion people on Earth are suffering from a disease, yes. At that point, it is definitely... It's killed more people than the Spanish flu! Yep. It's infected more than... Anything. <laughs> As you take and develop necrosis. Oh, hey! I don't have to get it now. That's sad. Now that their they brains are forty-four percent. Oh, Canada's dead. It. Well, Canada's infected. Already dead. All right. Chat Ch Ch is beginning to break down because of brain tooth. Research is starting to slow because everyone's dead. Oh man, Africa's fighting. Africa's fighting. Oh, whoa, what? Yeah, it shot up really fast. Because investment started going everywhere. Alright, so now we need. Hemorrhagic shock. That's going to be a big one. Why do we need it? Because it's a very fatal side effect. It's, I think it's. Uh, it's what already... Ebola is, basically. I'm pretty sure. Let's kill one in smallpox. I'm pretty sure disease is already extremely fatal. Uh, actually, no. It's taking a very long time to kill people at the moment. That's true. The necrosis... Yeah, yes, giving it hemorrhagic shock when it's already infected, like, the world is a pretty big deal, though. Yeah, necrosis, though, really did spike it. One billion mans! <laughs> Looks like right, it's time. now I can do it. Goodbye. Okay, now it's gonna be super deadly. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, normally just multiply by like 10. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> that's pretty much the last bastion of humanity, Iceland. <laughs> yes. The infection's almost fully spread, and now it's becoming exceptionally fatal. Internal hemorrhaging? So basically, this just makes. It just makes you lose all your blood. It makes you start bleeding really bad, you go insane, and then you start having, uh, like, cerebral hemorrhages. And you are very dead. It's a terrifying thing. Like, that is absolutely terrifying. Call it nothing next time? See, the that's first what... to fall into anarchy. No, no cure research cure. can take place. Well, that is the Well, case. more the majority of the world is human population is dead, so I mean, so that's already the case, but like they're probably like barely Why is there still a plane? <laughs> oh, that must be the like researcher planes. Yes. You know, even if you cure it now, no, at this point the bottlenecking would be so severe that it would pretty much have ruined humanity. I wonder if this affects non-humans. What are you even fighting for, blue plane guys? Desperation. It looks like some humans might survive. Terror and desperation. I mean, I guess it's all they know to do. Who's still alive? Oh, up there, maybe? Who knows? Well, and here. They... I guess there's some people there who are just, like, immune or something? Oh, no, everyone just got infected. This healthy person has been infected. There are no healthy people in the world. Which means everybody's gonna die. Oh, the plane stopped. Yep. Oh, we're going. In fact, people are going down because they're they're dead. Oh, play <sighs> they fought to the end. I want you to think, if this particular thing really happened in four years or in less than ten years' time, it could kill everybody. Greenland's government has fallen. 
Well, yeah, there are... Yeah. I think most governments have fallen. I'm surprised they can still keep airports functioning. <laughs> How are they keeping airports functioning? <laughs> it has destroyed the world. Well, actually, humans know they're watching the end. Well, oh, it's over. Brain yeah. tooth about to eradicate. 